Child, they got beef with you, but you don't even know this person. This is just amazing to me. <laughs> the stuff that I be picking up on sometimes. People really like got beef with you. You don't even know this one, this feminine in particular I'm picking up. You don't even know this woman. You ain't never formally met her a day in your life. You do not know this woman. But she got beef with you. Like, I don't know. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this? Like, what, girl? Why you mad? Why you mad, sweetheart? I don't even know you. Who are you? That's your vibe. When you, when you, if you, and when you, because I feel like she going to try to be froggy and jump. But when you make con contact with this woman, you're really going to be... Uh, sh like, what the fuck? I don't even know who you are. Is she going to feel even worse? Because this beef is in her head. What's this message about Holy Spirit? What would you like for us to know about this message here? We have the Two of Pentacles. It's in her head. She run herself. She getting herself out of whack about you. And you don't even know her. Like, straight like that. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This woman has in, become invested in trying to cause endings for you. Okay, with this death and this eight of cups, cause people to walk away from you. You are this queen of cups energy here. You do not even know this woman. I'm telling you, there's distance between you and her. She's another face in the crowd to you. Okay? But... She got a whole vendetta against you. Isn't that strange to have someone hate you and is out to destroy you and cause enemies for your life and you don't even know who they are? You don't even know who this woman is, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. But she's out here communicating to people. This Queen of Swords energy, okay? She's out here communicating to people that y'all got beef. That somehow you threaten her foundation. And that you're going to be in regret because she's going to take action against you, child. Child, I'm trying to tell y'all, somebody got a whole enemy out here that you have no idea about that's out here making it seem like you and her be going at it and that y'all got some kind of beef and you don't even know who this woman is. Like, straight up. What else, Holy Spirit? I'm telling you, this woman be stalking and gawking and watching you. You don't even know who she is. She probably be telling people that you be stalking her and watching her social media and shit. You don't even know this woman. Look, it's a scheme. Oh, she be lying and saying that for this seven of swords to come out right after I said that. That's exactly what she be saying. She be making it seem like the people that you... Miss Empress, this your energy falling right after, right under this Queen of Cups. She be creating all kind of illusions about you. You're an Empress, but she be trying to make it seem like you're a Queen of Wands, like you some kind of hoe that be coming at her with this chariot energy. Again, I'm going to keep saying it. You don't know this woman. You have no idea who this woman is. You ain't never had no conversations with her. Y'all ain't got no beef. So Holy Spirit, what is her problem? Why has she become fixated on my collective? Someone in my collective, this woman thinks that y'all got beef, but y'all don't. So why? We have the two of cups. Clarify this two of cups. So somebody she in a relationship with, or either you in a relationship with this king of swords. So he coming out as her match so this is someone that she is in a relationship with, but it looks like they're at odds with each other right now, coming out as a queen and king of swords. This may be a married couple, but they may be considering divorce. Yeah, we have this nine of swords because this king of swords got her. This relationship she has with her man has her in the nine of swords, has her upset and laying in the bed alone at night crying, but she trying to blame that on you. I'm telling you, you don't know who this woman is. She may think you dating her man, but you ain't. I'm not picking that up, y'all. 
I'm not picking up that we have the Knight of Pentacles. There's no evidence. There's no evidence that you were involved with this King of Swords. Clarify that. Look, Four of Pentacles. She's trying to create a narrative around your name and her man trying to make it seem like they having marital problems because of you. But you, there's no evidence. There is no evidence that you are even dealing with this man romantically or at all. Again, this is in her head. With this two of pentacles coming out, this woman is in her mind creating this chaos. We have the six of cups. She's trying to say that you've made an offer to her man in the past, but you have not. Confirm or clarify, Holy Spirit, we have the will of fortune. You have not, you have not tried to change fate in any way to be with this man. That's what she's saying now. We have the nine of pentacles. You have remained in this energy. You have not attempted to try to connect with whoever this king of source is. He don't even seem like he even on your level. Okay, we just gonna stop playing around. This energy I'm picking up on from this queen and king of swords, these people ain't even no people that you would know or be around anyway. I ain't trying to sound bougie either, but these ain't your type of people, child. You wouldn't even look twice at this king of swords. And this woman out here trying to make it seem like you coming for her man. Child, boo. We have, I'm trying to tell you that came out here as the nine of cups now. You ain't least bit worried about this man or her. You, you really don't even know these people. If you know them, you might know of them. You might have, you might see that. It's given, you might see this person. You cannot pick them out of a crowd. It's really like that. And she didn't create some whole narrative around your name, child, trying to make it seem like y'all got beef or you stalking her or you coming for her over this this king of swords child what's gonna be the outcome of this holy spirit we have the moon the truth gonna come to the light okay this these lies because this moon energy is giving me that the lies that she's telling about you it's gonna be exposed. We got the moon and the magician. Now I hope ain't nobody trying to do no magic with their crazy little tail self. They already coming up with whole fake narratives around your name. We have the four of cups. Y'all, I do wanna say that this queen of swords been out here doing magic against you too. But it's crazy because why would she think that you, there is no evidence. Did this King of Swords tell this Queen of Swords? We I don't know if you could tell what I was just about to ask, but I was just about to ask the Holy Spirit, did this King of Swords tell this Queen of Swords that he used to mess with this Empress? And look what came out, the Six of Pentacles. So this King of Swords then lied on your name, child. He done lied on your name. That's why she acting like that. We have the emperor. I'm getting that he 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 tried to make it seem like he had connected with you so it could give him some props. Somebody would give him some props. If he lied, ooh, child, and the Holy Spirit says that's the truth, okay? So he lied on your name. Man, I did not realize that men just be out here lying on people's names. Some men, not all men. It's a lot of beautiful lovely specimens of men out here, okay, <laughs> that are not going to play you in any way, shape, or form related to anything out here. I have to say that. But it is some men that will lie on their dick just so they can seem like they doing something or get props from people who don't even matter. And that's what I'm getting here. This emperor lied about connecting with you so that he could seem like the big man. But that shit then backfired because now his wife got a whole vendetta. She think y'all was in some type of love triangle and she all hurt 
got beef with you off of a lie. Child, you don't even know this guy. I'm telling y'all. that You don't even know this king of swords. He did this shit to try to look like the big man on campus and shit. You don't even know this guy. You over here sitting in this, this energy. And for me to even say that about the good men that are out here, I feel like you are with a good man who has you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You ain't think about these people. You in your own relationship. Look what was on the bottom. I'm trying to tell you with a King of Pentacles, that's who you celebrating with. Girl, you ain't thinking about these people. You don't even know these people, but they know you. So it must be something with you because you've come out here as the Queen of Cups, the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So you're, you're known. I feel like people know who you are. We have the Ten of Wands here, but she gonna have to give that up. Because it's going to come out that her husband is a liar and that he was doing anything for clout. 11-11 on the phone. Okay. Yep. He going to have to give up this story he got out here that he fucked you and that y'all had some type of passionate interaction or moment together because that's not what happened. And he got his wife on a whole campaign to try to shut you down and make you look bad to people and you don't even fucking know her man. Nobody don't want that nigga straight like that. Like, you gonna be appalled, child. Like, really? Y'all really thought that I was... Y'all... Y'all... Y'all really thought, nah, that I was out here dating that? That I was out here giving it up to that? That's gonna be your vibe, child. You gonna be... You gonna be like, damn, my stock might have went down a little bit if y'all really truly believe... That I was out here consorting with this king of swords like that, child. That I would even make that type of decision. It's, it's hard to believe. That's what I'm getting. It's hard to believe for you, 1221 on the phone. But for who you are, people are really like, <laughs> okay. This how my voice changed. Like, what? For who you are. People know that this this don't even sound right. They're probably looking at this woman like, are you sure that that's true? What you out here saying? You got beef with this woman. I don't think she know who you are, but carry on or either lay it to rest because you finna get yourself caught up either way, throwing this type of energy at this woman over this man that you love. She don't love this man. She don't even know this man. Okay, so the choice is yours. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like she's starting to get little nudges from the universe through other energies, letting her know, like, I think you barking up the wrong tree, 1313 13 on the phone, that I don't, that it's not what you think it is. It ain't that. This woman don't even know your man. I feel like somebody done said that to her, that she need to put a block up to all of that negative talk and hate that she's trying to throw in your direction. Okay, to get people on her team about a third party situation that didn't even happen. Okay, somebody need to hear this. Because this woman ran a whole slander campaign thinking that you've messed with, this empress has messed with her man and she hadn't even messed with her man. And the actuality of it is that her man lied to get clout on this. He lied on this empress to get clout. Any final messages? We have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like if this Queen of Swords really sits back and reviews the facts, 1414 becomes a student of what of the situation and what, what's really happening here, she will realize that what she thinks occurred did not occur. We have the Hangman. She needs to stop, though, before she get herself caught up. Cause she really out here going hard against this empress with this page of wands energy all in the name of her family okay 1441 on the phone when this woman hasn't done anything to threaten her or her family so that energy got to return to somebody because it's not going to stick to this empress any final messages holy spirit
Mm. Three of Pentacles. I'm telling y'all, y'all better be careful when y'all be jumping on these hate trains against people. You don't know the full story. You don't know what really occurred. You don't know how things went down. People be lying. People be saying anything to gain favor. 1515 on the phone. And you get into this Knight of Wands action against somebody that you don't even have any beef with. That you don't even have any reason to be throwing negativity at. Coming at like that. And see, when the truth gets exposed with this sun and this star card, okay, you're going to be over there looking at this person that you was trying to hurt and harm, and they life going to be A-OK, -okay, and your shit going to be drying up, and you're going to be wondering why. You're going to be in struggle mode. Not them, 1551 on the phone, because this, this person hasn't done anything to you. So you, you shoot negativity at them, trying to hurt them, make them suffer somehow, make them feel bad, you know, saying all kind of crazy shit. That shit ain't doing nothing to them. It might get under their skin in the moment, but that shit ain't stopping nothing. It might make some people look at them sideways for a minute, but anybody that got good sense know that what you're saying ain't true. What this Queen of Swords is implying didn't occur. And they going to put two and two together and get four both ways about this King of Swords that she dealing with. Because they got other problems that don't have nothing to do with this Empress. And this lady trying to pull this woman into her marital issues. And that's not right. And she going to be in the Five of Pentacles and the Tower and the Ten of Swords. For trying to mess with this divine being now. Who ain't done nothing to her. So she better watch herself. That's all I can say. And I'm dropping the mic with that. Like you know stay out of it. You ain't got shit to do with it. Sit your old ass down somewhere. Move the fuck on the calmer waters. Okay. Stop getting in people's shit. And worry about your own life. 1717 on the phone. Your own partnership. Okay. And I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.